Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you can see, who is going to be the topic of discussion uh, today? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> now, I thought Bethany is just like going out to Kim Kardashian and all those comings and goings. And, uh, but it looks like she's going out to TikTok now. TikTok has been scamming her ass or her ass are being scammed by TikTok and she ain't here for it. I'm like, she has an empire. A multi, probably billion dollar empire. Why is she picking on TikTok? Child. But let's get on into it because that's what we do. We talk about it. And we move on to the next subject with my family. Okay. Well, we have um, the ABC Chicago digital team news platform. They're weighing in on the situation with Bethany and TikTok. And they titled their article, Reality TV Star Entrepreneur Bethany Frankel sues TikTok over scam over scam ads using her videos. And um let's see. <laughs> let's see. It says uh Chicago reality TV star and entrepreneur Bethany Frankel is taking is taking on TikTok. Franco is suing the social media platform for not stopping a series of scam advertisements using her videos to market counterfeit products. I'm like, come on now. Y'all see that's what I want y'all to do. Get it in your head. Get programmed. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay. Um, I don't know what's wrong with Bethany. And how does Bethany know that the accounts are being counterfeited? Maybe she had time to research all this stuff. I really thought Bethany was like a businesswoman. And she was doing business here and there and everywhere. And I understand about people using your videos. and, and But I'm like, Bethany, are you getting paid, though, darling? Are you getting paid? But anyway, let's keep going on into the story. Uh, she goes on to say she is seeking monetary damages, saying the fraudulent ads have harmed her brand. Oh, Lord. TikTok said it has strict policies to protect people, uh, hard-earned int intellectual property, and keeps misleading content off the app. Now, I don't know if this is just a money grab for Miss Lady over there or she just being too sensitive on the situation because I don't think of Bethany, uh, 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 you know, scams or different advertisements going through her videos or not. People still like Bethany. People hate that Bethany. It's just a plethora of people disliking her, liking her for whatever the reasons are. But she has a brand out there. And it's not, if I was liking any of her pro, uh, uh, products, I wouldn't let just no scam app stop me. I would just go over there and buy her stuff. If I was really liking it, the product meaning that, and if I care you know, a little bit about Bethany and her strategic ways of making money. Uh, but I'm like, Bethany, and, and this, this has become a sue a uh, year for everybody. Everybody want to sue for in and everything. I'm like, God, God, when did just humor is just humor? When is it that gossip is just gossip? You know what I'm saying? Nothing found it. Nothing, you know, all everything is alleged over here, okay? We just breaking bread and we drinking whatever we want to drink and we just talking shit, okay? We just trying to see if we understand the situation or could we understand it by somebody else's perspective. 
But I'm like, Bethany, 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 Bethany. Why do you even sign up for TikTok? Why don't you just go on and take yourself off of TikTok and go on into the into your destiny? That's all I'm saying, Bethany. But what do y'all guys think about this uh, particular subject that we're having to have to face being on social media because it's going to get traction because Bethany is a very well-known businesswoman and, you know, she's on reality TV uh, shows here and there. So she's going to get talked about or it's just like a, a, a not a quick money grab, but a, a quick way to keep her name out there in social media, the social media world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. It seems kind of frivolous to me, but I'm not her. I'm not, you know, I don't have a brand like hers uh, that makes her money. But I'm like, Bethany, they're trying to get money from you, not give you money. Is that what you're saying? Are we understanding it correctly? Because your brand is pretty solid. People like your skinny drinks. They like your popcorn and all these other little uh, additives you have out there for as money making streams. I'm like, I don't understand when is enough is enough, and you just don't have an opinion about everybody. I mean, my thing is start your YouTube because if you are seriously out there talking about uh, Kim Kardashian all the time and her comes and goings, and now TikTok. It's pissing you off. So my thing is, why don't you just do a YouTube show? Then you'll still get money over hand and fist because you're going to have a lot of followers that's going to listen to what you're saying. But girl, I think you just need to fall back. <laughs> that's just me. Fall all the way back and just live your life and stop worrying about what person is doing here, there, and everywhere. And you thinking you have to talk about it all the time. That's why, like, if you're going to be that studious, just get your YouTube channel, honey. You might well make money while you're talking and giving examples of using products and stuff of that nature. And I know you're getting paid for that. So... That's all I got for Miss Bethany. If y'all want to sit down in those comments and tell me, do y'all think this is a frivolous thing? Do y'all think Bethany need to get her own YouTube station? Especially a uh, channel I meant. Like Dr. Heaven, she's over there doing her thing, and she's on a reality show, and she's a dentist. She said, this is therapy for her, and I said the same thing. But it's therapy for me, but I still want to make money off of it. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and I think it really is a, a good thing piece of money that she can pay her children's uh scholarships on well not scholarships but getting them through college without having any debt once they get out so that's the way i think about it so family y'all get down in those comments y'all tell me what y'all think about it is it just frivolous was it even worth her even coming out saying she want to sue them i mean what grounds does she have on it that people would really or a judge would take it seriously if she did try to um what do you call it get get the people together that she feel is using her name and her brand and her uh notoriety to false advertisement scams and what she's saying pretty much but I don't know. But I'll see y'all next video, okay? And don't remember, I mean, please remember to subscribe, 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 share, 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 like, like, like. All right, bye.